Yo, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you the fastest way to level up your account super fast this week in GTA 5 Online, earning you over 350,000 RP every hour with this guide. And I don't want to waste any more of your time, but if you're going to enjoy the video, don't forget to leave a like on it for me. But now, let's go. So as most of you know, this week in GTA 5 Online, Rockstar decided to add the peyote plants back in the game, which if you don't know, eating just one of these plants can get you up to 5,000 RP per plant. And luckily for you, there is 76 peyote plants all across the map of Los Santos, and I'm about to show you the fastest way to eat them all. What you first want to do is go ahead and go over to any peyote plant in the game, but first of all, take a look at my level. As you can see right now, I am currently two and almost a half bars away from the next level. Just keep that in mind because once I eat this peyote plant, you'll see how many bars of RP I get. Anyway, once you're at the peyote plant, what you want to do is simply eat it just like I'm doing here. Once you eat the peyote plant, you want to wait until you turn into an animal and once you turn into an animal you want to simply open up your pause menu go over to online then jobs then play job then rockstar created then go down to parachuting and start up the first parachuting job that you see from here once you fully load into the parachuting job like this all you need to do is simply back out and just like that you'll notice that you don't spawn over at the hospital you actually spawn right at the exact same spot that you ate the peyote plants at and as you can see, I definitely got the RP because you can see I am not two and a half bars away from the next level now. I am now only one and a half bar away. So what this trick does is instead of spawning you at the hospital without your vehicle, it allows you to stay at the exact same spot that you ate the peyote plant at. That way you can actually get to your vehicle right away and then go over to the next peyote plant right away. And the best vehicle for you to use during this process is the Oppressor Mark II because after you eat your first plant, you can literally hop back on your Oppressor Mark II and go over to the next plant and once you're at the plant just like I am here all you need to do is simply eat it just like we did before and then after you eat the plant you just want to wait until you turn into an animal once again then open up your pause menu go over to the parachuting job and then start up the parachuting job and then exit it and once you exit it you'll then be at the exact location you ate the plant at and you'll also have the RP from the plant and this is literally all you want to be doing, going over to a peyote plant location, eating it, and then doing the trick that I showed you. That way you spawn at the exact same spot, and then you can get on your Oppressor Mark II or your vehicle of choice, and then go over to the next peyote plant location. But the speed that it takes you to get from one location to the next is going to determine how much RP you're going to be getting every single minute. Now, me, myself, I was actually averaging at least one peyote plant every 30 seconds. That means I was gaining 5,000 RP every 30 seconds. And honestly, the speed is not really anything too hard to master. All you really need is an Oppressor Mark II, and also you need to know where all of the peyote plant locations are at. And I'm about to show you the best thing to use to know where all of these peyote plant locations are at exactly. Okay, so here's my secret. This is actually the website that I was using to find all of my peyote plant locations. As you can see, this website shows you all of the 76 peyote plants all across the map of GTA 5 online, and it also shows a picture for every single one of the locations. And if you want to see exactly where the plant is, you can actually click a picture and see exactly where the peyote plant is on the map. This website also allows you to zoom in and scroll all around the map as it was a regular GTA 5 Online map, which is also another reason that I love this website, so if you want to use it, I'll leave it linked down below at the top of the description. You can also use this website to look at the locations on your phone or your computer, it's completely up to you, but once you go to these locations enough times, you'll eventually have them all memorized and you won't need to even look at the website anymore. Because me, after a couple hours of grinding this, I actually memorized a lot of the peyote plants across the map and I found myself not even needing to look at the map at all. But anyway, every single 30 seconds I was eating at least one peyote plant, which gained me around 5000 RP every 30 seconds. As a level 1000, that was only about one bar of RP. But what if you were wondering, how much RP would I be gaining if I was a low level in GTA 5 Online? Well, I got you covered, and the results are pretty insane. Okay, so I decided to hop on my PlayStation 5 account, which I don't really hop on. As you can see, I am level only 49, halfway to level 50. So let's see how much RP I get from just one peyote plant. As you can see, I'm halfway to level 50, so here's the peyote plant right here. Alright, so just like before, I am simply going to eat the peyote plant, and once I fully turn into an animal, I am then going to do the trick. So once I turn into an animal, I'm simply going to open up my pause menu, and and then start up the parachuting job. Once you start up the parachuting job, simply back out and as you can see you are now at the exact location you ate the peyote plants at, but as you can see, take a look at how much RP I gained, I am now only one bar away from level 50. So the amount of RP that I got was 5000 RP for that one peyote plant and that got me about 4 bars of RP for my low level. 
So if you have a low level account in GTA 5 Online, you definitely want to be doing this because you can be leveling up your account super fast in GTA 5 Online if you're doing this trick. As you can see, literally after eating only two peyote plants, I already made a level and I'm level 50 now. And that was literally only after eating two peyote plants. As I said, there is over 76 peyote plants all across the map of Los Santos. And if we eat all of them, we can gain way more RP and way more levels than just this one level. But it's also very important that you know every single time you eat one of these peyote plants, it takes a total of 48 minutes for that one plant to respawn. So definitely keep that in mind when eating all of these plants. So what I did on my PlayStation 5 account, since it was a low level, is I would eat all 76 plants and then I would come back to the game 30 minutes later, that way all of the plants were already respawned and I would do it one more time. And I probably ate around 100 peyote plants in total and the result of the amount of levels that I gained during that process is insane. Let me show you that right now. Okay, so here are the results. I was like level 49 at the very beginning if you don't remember and now I am level 67. So I gained around 17 or 18 levels in GTA. 5 online doing this trick. And if you are thinking that this took a long time to get all of these plants, you are actually mistaken. Getting all of these 100 peyote plants took me around 1 hour exactly, and that got me 18 levels in Grand Theft Auto 5 online. Of course, considering that my account was level 49 at the very beginning, so I was kind of a low level. So if you are a low level, now you know exactly why I was telling you, you should definitely be doing this RP method. But on the other hand, if you are a high level in GTA 5 Online, like a level 1000 like I was, you're probably only going to be gaining at least one or two bars of RP every single peyote plant, which is still not bad, but just keep in mind, if you're a high level, you're not going to be earning as much RP as the low levels are. Now, before we end things off for today's video, I did want to talk about the vehicles that you should be using during this RP method. Now, as I said at the very beginning, you should definitely be using the Oppressor Mark II. That is definitely the number one vehicle to be using during this RP method. On the other hand, I do know the oppressor mark 2 is an 8 million dollar vehicle so if you are a low level you might not be able to afford that on the other hand you can still use the oppressor mark 1 or like the sparrow or some sort of really fast helicopter like the sparrow but yeah, I'd say your best four options are number one, the Oppressor Mark II, number two, the Oppressor Mark I, number three, the Sparrow, or number four, the Buzzard. And if you don't have any of those vehicles that I just listed, you can simply just use any one of your regular vehicles in the game or preferably a motorcycle. That's probably going to be the best, a motorcycle if you don't have any of those four. Anyway, that is now going to be the end of today's video. That is the fastest way to level up your account super fast this week in GTA 5 Online if you're a low level or if you're just looking into leveling up your account in GTA 5 Online. And as I said at the beginning of the video, Rockstar only added these peyote plants in the game for this week, meaning on January 11th when it does hit, they should be disappearing if they don't decide to keep them longer. Which I'm pretty sure they are going to be disappearing because usually they're only in the game for one week, so if you're watching this video and it's over January 11th, you might not be able to do this RP method. But the good news is every single time Rockstar does decide to add the peyote plants back into GTA 5 Online, you can actually come back to this video and do this RP method right away again. But yeah, that's it for today's video, and until next time, I will see you all in my very next video. Peace.